The season premiere of Tri-State Sports on Wayne Hills TV has arrived at last. Took a little longer than I had originally anticipated. Look, it's a long story. But I've missed you guys, you've missed me, and now we're in what I call the prime of New York sports per season, to say the least. So with that all out of the way and put to the side, I think there's only one thing left to do, and that's to hit it and get it started. So obviously with the poor connection with all these computers, we're a little late, so we'll jump right into week three, beginning of week three, towards the end of it in the NFL. We're going to focus a little more on football for this particular week. By the way, this beautiful logo behind me is going to get some minor tweaks up to date. Anyways, starting off with the team I'm repping today, the Jets season begins at last. At this time of recording, it's Friday, September 20th, 2024. The Jets are 2-1 starting off with a loss at the Niners, a win versus the Titans, and a dominant performance against the Patriots. Now, I was at this game against the Patriots, and it was just dominance from the beginning to the end. I got to point this out. Will McDonald the fourth is him. Who needs Hassan Reddick at this point? We'll touch on him in a second. This guy has five sacks to start the year. Five sacks in just two full games as the starting edge. So listen, Jermaine Johnson's out for the season with an Achilles injury. Where have I heard that one before? Listen, we got to have guys that step up on the interior and around the edge. And how could I not talk about Aaron Rodgers? That is a bad man. Two touchdowns in his home debut. And yes, I say home debut this time with, listen, put any emphasis around it if you want. But this was the homecoming out game for the Jets. And listen, there's no way around it. They dominated the Patriots from start to finish. Rodgers dominated. Everybody dominated. Just Nothing you could take away. Hassan Reddick, look, I get it. You wanted a new contract, and I don't blame you. You deserve to be paid more. But day by day by day, you lose even more leverage with the way that Will McDonald's playing. And listen, Jermaine Johnson, the injury, it's not ideal. It doesn't help us out. But you, you can make a difference. You can get over here, play out your contract, get some incentives on it if you want. Hey, maybe you get a bonus, to say the least. But... You are an asset to this team. I know you haven't showed up. You haven't talked to Coach Sala whatsoever. Just, I ask you in the most respectful way possible, be a man and play out your contract. Speaking of grown men, how about Brees Hall and Braylon Allen? I mean, how can you not love this RB duo in the backfield? A two-headed monster. Brees Hall, top two running back, no debate. Braylon Allen, arguably a top 20 running back, just as a fourth-round pick. You'd love to see it. You love to see how the drafts are just coming together for this team. But listen, Braylon Allen still got a long way to go before he's considered an elite running back, which I think we all get that by now. I have to, I can't let this slide right now. The media and the internet are an absolute joke when it comes to predicting this game. The Patriots were picked by a lot of analysts to win. Guys, listen to me carefully. You're looking at me, right? Eye to eye, man to man. The Patriots do not own anybody anymore with this team. Gerard Mayo is still unproven. The team is not very good. There's just not a lot of talent. So put all that to the side. Nobody cares about what they did to the Jets for 15 games in a row against Zach Wilson. Who else? Trevor Simeon, who they lost to, by the way. Bye-bye, Bill Belichick. Nobody, nobody cares. Two games in a row, you've been outscored 41-6 to by the Jets. End of story. We'll talk to you next time, New England. Now, I just... I stop and I ask myself, who are the New York Giants nowadays? And the answer to that is very clear. They are a dysfunctional franchise. That's, that's the only way to put it. They are a dysfunctional franchise. For those who watch Hard Knocks over the offseason, they handle the Barkley situation awfully. Now, we have to just go back. Where did it all begin? And it only began just under two weeks ago when the Giants lost 20-6 to at home to the Vikings and then lost again a week later at the Commanders. So much for owning the Commanders, Danny. Speaking of Danny, we'll touch on him in a second. These 100th anniversary uniforms, ugh, I just, 
they are awful. Now listen, if Fashion Friends was doing jersey reviews on this channel, this would get an F- minus and a negative aura rating. I don't ever want to see these jerseys on the field again. I don't want to see them in the stores. I don't want to see them on the internet. Look, the Browns, 1-1, one one, beat Jacksonville. The Jaguars are not good. The Browns are not good. The Giants are not good. It's, it's an ugly game. Look, Miles Garrett's still a difference maker. Amari Cooper's been whatever to start the season, not like his usual self. But I will say this. Get Malik Neighbors the ball. Malik Neighbors looks like he could be a top five receiver in this league, and that's not a stretch. He might win Offensive Rookie of the Year. It's a tight race between him and Marv, but we'll see what happens. He's very good. The defense needs to show up. Kayvon Burns, where are you? You two, you two have actually ghosted for two straight weeks against the Commanders and the Vikings, two very bad offensive lines, but here we are. Now you're under the lights. This isn't preseason anymore. You're just, you're not showing up against these very bad teams, which actually, you know what, to their credit, the Vikings are winning games. They just beat up the Niners. So listen, Sam Darnold, you get a pass, move on with your season. But I got to touch on this guy for a second. I can't mention the New York Giants without talking about Danny Crimes. Some of you might know him as Daniel Jones. Now, Daniel Jones needs to be traded to the Chick-fil-A by Willowbrook Mall because he is not the quarterback for the Giants going forward. I'm sorry. I don't want to see him again. He's bad. I've been saying this for months now. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I can't defend him. I can't say anything. He has Malik neighbors. He can't make it work. He's not a good quarterback. Giants, draft your quarterback regardless of where you're picking. Do not mess this up. And Coach Dable, I'm looking at you. GM, Joe Shane, I'm looking at you. Do not die on this hill with Daniel Jones and lose your job, or better yet, risk losing your job because it's not worth it. Don't let this guy put you out of a job. Now, my final score prediction, Cleveland, they should win. I hate to say it, but you just look at the Browns. They're a better team on paper, and there's no way around it. Deshaun Watson might not be what he used to be, but he's still a better quarterback than Daniel Jones. Not by much, but he's still better. So I'm going to go with <sighs> the score could be for this. It could be nine to five for all I know, but I'll play it safe. I'll go Browns win 14 to three. On that note, though, that's going to do it for this episode. Now, listen, it's great to be back. And listen, we're only just starting. Be sure to check out some of Wayne Hill TV's other great shows. The highlight reel has officially arrived with Smitty, Helter, Minority, and the rest of the crew leading the charge, of course. Listen, they've done a great job the last couple of years or so, and you just got to give credit. Ignore that. You got to give credit where credit's due. And obviously, Let's Talk About It has been renewed for another season as well. Evelyn, Brooke, Liz, you know them very well. And the newest show, Style and Season, though you'll likely recognize Lauren Freeman and Julia O'Hagan as they take fashion friends to a whole new level. With that being said, have a fantastic rest of your week. Talk ball soon, and as always, let's go Jets.